thank you for all your guiding help. Uh, I have a one inch cube, so we are back in inches. I want to put a taped hole, five by 16 by 18, on three sides, but go all the way through. If I use the hole command, it will work out, uh, but I only get image of frets. If I do the same by extruding three holes, then using the model frets, then I get, uh, and he gets an error. Let's try this. James, let's try this. And then I'm going to show you uh, a, a solution to that. Maybe if we get the error. So I'm going to go over here and switch over to, to metric because that, or to uh, inches because that was what James said. So he had a cube of one inch by one inch. We can do that. One by one. Press pull one inch. Okay, there is his cube. Now, so what um, what James is saying is that he gets an error when he tries to extrude free holes and then use the model thread uh, for it to work. And and when I saw this, James, I was thinking, well, it's probably just because your model threads are, uh, you know, it's too hard for the computer to calculate the model threads. But you actually don't, when you're using the whole command, this, so that's what you use. If you click on the whole command and we select the face here, um, let's look at that face. So we can do a reference. So let's do a reference from the top. Let's make that 0.5, select another reference here, 0.5. So now the hole is right in the center. Oops, I shouldn't have hit enter, Add it. Um, this is going to be all the way through, all the way through. Uh, this is a threaded hole, right? And um, this was going to be five, what was it? Five sixteenth, eighteen. So that is like 31, 25, 5, 16, 18th. Okay. So here, if you do it like this, um, on this, make sure that you check the model down at the bottom. Now it's modeled. Okay, so now what, what James is saying is that when he does the same thing, now he didn't have it modeled, but if we go ahead and we do the on the side here, look at that. Let's do 0.5. Next edge, 0.5. Ah, I hit enter again, sorry. Um, all the way through, it's gonna be another threaded there. And the size is, what is it, 31, 05, 16. Now if I click modeled, is it gonna fail on us? All the way through. It's doing nothing. Selected a reference. I did something wrong. Size. Size is wrong. 31. Huh. What did I do, folks? One selected, one inch selected, one selected, all the way through. Oh, this is good. I don't like to be a quitter, but let me just exit out of that again. Edit. Thread. Modeled. Okay. I'm gonna have it all the way through. That's good. So now it's modeled all the way through. It's on the center. I think that's what we want. Switching sides on me. That's what happens. Switching sides, it fails. That's weird. Delete that. Let's try that again. Whole 
face etch 0 0.5 0 0.5 all the way through threat that's what we want There we go. I don't know what I did with the other one. Let's try to throw one through the top. I don't know what happened. I went out of it and went back in again. Hole. Select the top. Select an edge. 0.5. Select another edge. 0.5. So go all the way through. And then model that's the right size. Hit OK. Calculate. And there you go. So if you use that whole command, you can definitely do it. As you can see that I'm doing here. Now it's a mess. This is where I thought actually would fail, James. Because you see how the calculations, they, and this is how it would look in real life too. Like it, it looks horrendous in there uh, in the section. view. But yeah, you can absolutely do that. Uh, just do everything from the whole command. It didn't used to be like this. So maybe this is where uh, James, you know, if you're like, wait a minute. I didn't know that. It didn't used to have the fret inside of the hole. Now you do.